we don't sell the anointing, we receive it freely, we heal the sick, we go forth and preach the gospel, we cast out devils, not for any fees. I tell you, people, when they are blessed, they can freely from their hands say, I am blessing the work of God in your hands, but we are not going forth to extort money. In case you have been involved in such a place where you are always giving up because you are commanded, I tell you something, you are in the wrong place and you eventually see the kind of lifestyle these people are living. If you compare it and look carefully, you've heard about the rumors of the lifestyle of these people. Do not be confused. Jesus said by their fruit, you shall know them. No matter what they present and no matter how they try to cover what they do, it will surely come. And in case you are still wondering, I really suggest that you pray about it and ask the Lord to order your feet. I pray that you will not be a, a, a casualty in this last days. I pray that in your quest to seek God, you will not be deceived. Jesus said, do not be deceived. So many things will be happening. People will be deceived. Some will depart from faith. I pray that all of these things going on, you will not be a victim. I pray for you and for everyone that is hearing us, even around this environment and on air everywhere. I am trusting God that no matter what it is that is moving and flooding in this generation, the Lord will keep you. The Lord knows how to keep his own. He knows how to preserve his own. I want to pray for some people today who are saying, Lord, I want to be kept away from the spirit of these last days. I want to survive the evil in these days. I don't want my children to be involved in the madness of what is going on. I don't want my husband or my wife to be involved in what is going on. I don't want my family members to become victims. You can commit them to the Lord when you commit things in the Lord and in the hands of the Lord, he preserved them. You can pray for yourself and pray and say, Father, I don't want to be a victim of these last days. I don't only want to survive. I want to thrive. Not only am I not expecting to fall, I'm expecting to shine my light. Can you go ahead and pray and say, Father, I receive strength. Hallelujah. I receive grace. You are able to keep me from falling. You are able to keep me from the deception of these last days. You are able to preserve me with your word. Ask the Lord to give you hunger for more of his word. Ask the Lord to help you. Ask the Lord to give you what it takes for you to survive these last days. And what is more, his anointing is there to lead you. Say, Father, I receive fresh anointing today. Lead me into all truth and lead me away from every falsehood in the name of Jesus. I want to pray for somebody who is not yet in Christ who wants to say Lord Jesus come into my heart be my personal Lord and Savior go ahead and pray say Lord Jesus I need you to be my Lord and my Savior I ask you to forgive my sins and I ask you to give me a new beginning write my name in the book of life Father deliver me from this evil deliver me from this wickedness somebody you are involved so in so much evil so much evil and you are hearing me the Lord